The Emergency Rocket Communications System was designed to provide a reliable and survivable emergency communications method for the United States National Command Authority, using a UHF repeater placed atop a Blue Scout rocket or Minuteman II intercontinental ballistic missile. ERCS was deactivated as a communication means when President George H. W. Bush issued a message to stand down SIOP committed bombers and Minuteman IIs on 27 September 1991. Headquarters SAC was given approval by the Joint Chiefs of Staff to deactivate the 494L payloads beginning 1 October 1992. However, Headquarters SAC believed it was inefficient and unnecessary to support ERCS past fiscal year 1991, and kept the accelerated deactivation schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Mission The mission of the Emergency Rocket Communications System was to provide assured communication to United States strategic forces in the event of a nuclear attack. ERCS was a rocket or missile that carried a UHF transmitter as a payload instead of a nuclear warhead. In the event of a nuclear attack, ERCS would launch the UHF transmitter into low space to transmit an emergency action message EAM to strategic air command units. The ERCS sorties had two possible trajectories, east and west, to inform SAC alert forces in the northern tier bases, i.e., Minot AFB, Fairchild AFB, Grand Forks AFB. ERCS was deactivated and taken out out of the inventory as other means of emergency communication i.e. ISST and Milstar came online. <laughs> Nomenclature ERCS was also known as Project 279 Blue Scout version and Project 494L Minuteman version. Sources report that the Project 279 was also known as Project Beanstalk, while the Minuteman system may have been designated LEM-70A. Operations <inaudible> 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 The Blue Scout version of ERCS program 279 was deployed to three sites near Wisner, West Point, and Tikama, Nebraska. The program 494L Minuteman version of ERCS was only deployed to Whiteman AFB, Missouri's 351st Strategic Missile Wing, under the direct control of the 510th Strategic Missile Squadron, later the 510th Missile Squadron. ERCS was a three-part communications system composed of the following elements. The 5 510th Strategic Missile Squadron Launch Control Centers, which exercised primary control over the ERCS The Minuteman missiles configured with ERCS payloads that were capable of accepting a voice-recorded message of up to 90 seconds in length the SAC Airborne Command Post ALCC-equipped aircraft which served as an alternate ERCS control agency, interface with ERCS hardware was provided by three modes A landline through ground grouping points North Bend, Nebraska and Red Oak, Iowa allowed the Airborne Command Post interface with 494L equipment a UHF radio link through the Launch Control Center to the Launch Facility A direct radio interface to the Launch Facility, through the Airborne Launch Control System Headquarters Strategic Air Command had the ability to make inputs directly into the missile. The numbered air forces could direct the missile crew to make the inputs. 
In the case of the Airborne Command Post, inputs could be made directly into the missile and missile launch could be made from the aircraft. Topic: Testing. Operational tests of the 494L Minuteman II ERCS were conducted by Air Force Systems Command and Strategic Air Command under the code name Giant Moon. Launch Control Facility Oscar 1A LCFO 1A and Launch Facility 04 LFO 4 at Vandenberg AFB, California were modified in 1977 to perform ERCS related test functions. Topic: <laughs> ERCS sortie location. After the system was declassified, the 10 ERCS sorties were powered down and removed from their launch facilities. During these power down operations, the location of the sorties were Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Material and support. The Ogden Air Materiel Area at Hill AFB, Utah was made the system's support manager in August 1963. <laughs> <laughs> Chronology The 29th of September 1961 HQ USAF issues specific operational requirement SOAR 192 for ERCS designated program 279 The 27th of December 1961 interim configuration finalized of 3 rockets with 1 kilowatt transmitters stationed around Omaha, Nebraska, 4 sites with 3 rockets each 5 April 1962 Amendment to SAW 192 to include two East Coast ERCS complexes, based on chrome dome routes and SAC elements in Europe. 21 September 1962 SAC study recommends use of Minuteman missile, to eliminate Program 279 and its proposed expansion. 7 June 1962 SAC proposes changes to SAW 192, such as using six Minuteman missiles selected from among the flights of an operational wing. This was envisioned not to impair the alternative capability of substituting nuclear warheads should future circumstances warrant. The 11th of July 1962 program 279 attains initial operating capability IOC UHF transmitter payloads attached to 3 MER6A Blue Scout rockets at 3 sites near Wisner, West Point and Tecoma, Nebraska. The 13th of December 1966 a Minuteman II launched from Vandenberg AFB Calif carried the first Minuteman ERCS payload into space for testing and evaluation. The 17th of April 1967 third and last test of the ERCS using a Minuteman booster emergency action message was inserted into the transmitter from an ALCS aircraft. The 15th of August 1967 first program 494L payload arrives at Whiteman AFB, Missouri. The 10th of October 1967 first two program 494L ERCS payloads put on alert at Whiteman AFB, Missouri. IOC obtained for program 494L ERCS. 1 January 1968 – Full operational capability FOC, obtained for Program 494 LERCS, Program 279 ERCS inactivated by SAC 23 October 1974 – ERCS test, designated Giant Moon 6, launched from Vandenberg AFB 
Test was monitored on two frequencies by ground facilities. PACOM at Hickam AFB maintained valid reception of the JCS white dot one message for 22 minutes and another message for 14 minutes. The 27th of September 1991, President George H. W. Bush terminated SAC's alert force operations, which included taking Minuteman II ICBMs, including ERCS sorties, off alert. Topic in popular culture. ERCS is mentioned in the Dead Hand, the untold story of the Cold War arms race and its dangerous legacy by David Hoffman. Topic. See also. Dead Hand, Russia's quasi version of ERCS, relaying launch codes instead of messages. Post Attack Command and Control System (PACCS). Airborne Launch Control System (ALCS). Ground Wave Emergency Network (GWEN). Minimum Essential Emergency Communications Network (MEECN). Survivable Low Frequency Communications System (SLFCS). Primary Alerting System (PA). SAC Automated Command and Control System SACCS <laughs>